All right, so just when you thought the desperate attempt to block the nomination of Judge Brett Kavanaugh could not get any lower, it did. The Kavanaugh nomination was backed with more documents of support than the previous five Supreme Court nominees combined. There were over 30 hours of televised public hearings and 65 meetings with individual senators. Now, there would have been more meetings, but many of the Democrats refused to meet with the judge because they decided they would vote no, even if Judge Kavanaugh had been a clone of Moses and brought his opinions down from Mount Sinai on two tablets of stone. <laughs> but despite the fact that he's been undergoing intense background checks all the way back to 1993, when he was working in the federal government, he went through a grueling confirmation to be seated on the Court of Appeals. A relentless effort has been made to find something, I mean anything, to give a reason to oppose him. Some of the points of the opposition were so silly that we mocked them here on this show. Like, uh, like that his name Brett wasn't a good name for a justice, or that he spent too much money on baseball tickets. But this week, Senator Dianne Feinstein announced that she had given a super duper secret letter from an unnamed and unidentified female source who claimed something, or we have no idea what, something had happened when they were in high school. <laughs> and since Judge Kavanaugh went to an all male Catholic high school, it could not have been a classmate. And And nothing about this ever appeared in the many years of his being hired to teach law at Harvard, to work in at least two, maybe three presidential administrations, serve with a special counsel, and be appointed to one of the most prestigious and visible courts in all the country, even before the Supreme Court. Now, Feinstein supposedly had the secret letter since July from the unnamed and unknown person about an unknown and unnamed issue. But not even in her private meetings with the judge did she ever mention it until it appeared that not even Cory Spartacus Booker could stop him. <laughs> so, what is it that he did 35 years ago when he was in high school that is just now surfacing? I don't know. But if Senate Democrats pursue this without some videotape and a stack of sworn affidavits by angels right out of heaven, they're going to look more ridiculous than when I dressed up like Batman on my 60th birthday. <laughs> Hope we don't have those photos anywhere. <laughs> but if the new criteria for political appointees is to have some bottom-feeding scavengers take anonymous allegations from a person who says nothing for 35 years and then secretly hands them to a senator, let me tell you something, I need to come clean on some things that I just need to confess, should I ever be appointed to anything but the president? You see, when I was in junior high, <laughs> I didn't wash my PE uniform for over two weeks one time. <laughs> I also dropped a fork under the table in the high school cafeteria, and I left it there, and I didn't pick it up. <laughs> I think it's probably still there. And I took a girl on a date once to a Mexican restaurant, and when she went to the restroom, I took a bite out of her enchilada. <laughs> and during a standardized test in fourth grade, I used a number one lead pencil instead of the number two lead pencil. <laughs> and I'm ashamed to say this, but out of sheer rebellion, I tore off the tag to my pillow when I was in the 10th grade. <laughs> Look, I get it. I know that you are no doubt shocked and ashamed of me, and I just hope you can look past these horrible things and still respect me. But I want you to know, I'm a different person now. When I take a bite out of my wife's food, I do it right there while she's watching. And I not only pick up dropped forks, I even wiped them off before putting them back on the table. <laughs> and I haven't torn off a tag from a pillow or a mattress since the 10th grade. So there, it's all out there now. Well, most of it.
The rest, I'm just going to wait until after weeks of investigation, scrutiny, and public hearings, then someone I knew in high school might remember something that I forgot. But all seriousness, the good news for me is that if I've forgotten most of my sins, but better than that, God has forgiven them, even if the Democrats in the Senate won't.